Yeah, we fought through adversity. This team's shown we have toughness and and I can fight through it. We hung in there. You know, things weren't pretty. We started off terrible, you know, early interception and uh, got down 14-0. So not the way you want to start a football game, but nobody panicked. We hung in there. I knew we just needed to get rolling, get some points. We were able to do that and uh, stuck with it and found a way to win at the end. It's a big one today. You take a three-game lead in itself. But how do you put this in perspective as far as the grand scheme of things? Oh, it's a big win. You know, we were on the road against a division opponent. Uh, it was playing really well. Uh, so, you know, big win for us. We knew it was going to be a tough battle coming in. And uh, turned out to be exactly that. But uh, you know we're eight games into a 17-game season, regular season. So um, a lot of football to be played. Just have to stay the course, uh, keep progressively getting better, and come ready to play each and every week. How much of a big momentum swing was that? You throw the interception, they fumble it, you guys get it back, and then score a touchdown pass on the next play. How much of a crazy momentum swing was that to get you guys back in it? Yeah, it was huge. You know we. Were, um, got the ball back there. No one panicked, and we we're able to uh, to go get points. So, um, you know, like I mentioned, you know, it doesn't really matter what happens as long as uh, we have an opportunity. We feel like we can overcome it and, and keep swinging and, and find a way to win. How's your neck or your shoulder? Uh, I'm sore, but I'll be all right. That was that also that, that late regulation hit sack with or, or mm -hmm. like Yeah. Like before that, you weren't struggling with anything or hurting at all. Uh, not my neck, no. Yeah, I love playing with AJ. He, he's a heck of a football player, uh, makes huge p plays for us weekly, and uh, I love him as a friend too. So um, it's really fun whenever you can uh, have a good relationship with a person off the field and be able to carry that on the field. And uh, obviously, you know, he's extremely talented and, and dangerous with the ball in his hands. So uh, if he continues to get open, I'll continue to throw it to him. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a roller coaster there in the last uh, two minutes of, of regulation. But um, just try to stay steady, right? You, you do feel the emotions. You do feel the emotions. But then at the same time, you let the emotions come and then just kind of reset, reel them back in, and, and uh, get ready for what comes next. You know, we were moving the ball down the field. So, um, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen at that point. I knew we had to stay ready offensively and, um, and be able to lock back in and, and prepare to go win. So, um, you know, unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, to get that first drive going you know, early in the uh, in the overtime, but uh, found a way. Defense came up huge for us there. You know, KB with a pick, and um, and we were able to get into field goal range and, and win it. Ryan, being able to hang in there as an offense when you have two interceptions, and you know Derek doesn't have his best game, and it appears he got a little banged up. What does it show, you know, about what you know this, this offense can do? Well, we're resilient. This team is resilient. Like I said, you know, things aren't always going to be pretty. You know, we ha we had. Uh, Fun game last week where, where we got rolling early, but we've been in these these tough battles before, and we're going to be in more as the year goes on. And uh, there's no there's no shake, there's no quiver from anybody on our team. I don't think you know we were able to respond and, and find a way to win. You kind of touched on it. Do you want guys not to look at the standings, not to not to think about that stuff? I mean, the standings are what they are, but at the end of the day, we have a lot of football out in front of us, and we have to be able to to go play and. Um, tough opponent on the road next week, so uh, need to be able to, to reset. You know, enjoy this win, grow from it uh, offensively, and um, and be able to reset and come back and play well next week. I know you're, Randy's a buddy of yours He's from, from years back. I mean, keeps making the game winning kicks. What, what do you say to him uh, after his kick? Yeah, I was fired up for Randy. You know, it's uh, good to have him around. Uh, familiar face from a long time ago, but uh, came up huge for us today. So thankful we have him on our team. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, um, it's part of being a leader, right? You, you can't be too high or too low. You know, we want to be a, um, a steady force that, that drives the offense and, and pushes that belief that we're going to we're gonna make something happen and we're going to go go win the game. So, uh, yeah, I, I do feel the emotions of the game, but at the same time, I try to try to be steady, uh, not only for myself, but for everyone in the huddle. Is there anybody that's especially encouraging to you after you've made a mistake or you just take it upon yourself to shake it off? 
yeah, guys will come say something to me, but at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's personal, right? You have to be able to uh, to turn the turn the page, man. I get ready for the next play. What did you see on the first pick? Did they do something? Yeah, uh, Nickel had his back turned and was running with AJ in the slot, and uh, so it looked like they were matching him, going to take him, carry him vertical, and right when I threw it, he uh, he stopped and turned around. So. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do a whole lot differently, but anticipate him stopping. I mean, that's that's a, a tough look there. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate Thanks. It. Thanks.